Hello, this is Michael, Michael Ratcliffe presenting Flywall's um, entry into the Hackaday Best Product Award 2015. Now, what problem does it address? It addresses world hunger. When you think of world hunger, you think cat lack of cattle. Um, when in fact, there's more fish produced each year than cattle by weight. There's over 156 billion, yeah, billion kilograms of fish produced each year. So, how can technology help to increase this number? Well, the biggest, well, the primary factor when you're growing fish is what you feed them and how you feed them. You can feed them the same amount of food, but if you don't do it at the correct times, it's very wasted. Fish like to be fed depending on water temperature, fish type, maturity, and dissolved oxygen in the water. Now all this can be represented mathematically which makes it great because we can build a system like this which is an automated fish feeder which works on feed forward. So what it does, it takes measurements of the environment it's operating under. It knows the type of fish in the tank because I've told it. It measures the water in the tank and it feeds at the right times and the right amounts to maximise productivity of the growing pond. Now, feed forward's okay. It, it'll probably suffice for a lot of um, ventures, but feedback is what you really want. So this unit here is the control unit here. It's a vision-based feedback system. So you've got a camera mounted at the top of the pond looking down, and this counts the number of food, number of food particles in the pond and tracks what the fish are eating, how fast they're eating it and when they're not eating. So we can apply general control back theory to this. Now this is set up, it's running at the moment, it's trying to keep about this much food in the pond so I'm going to simulate the fish eating the food. So when I take the food out of the pond, the feeder should Add that food back. It's as it is doing now. Now this is just a basic unit. I, I made it in a couple of hours. It's it's not fine tuned at all. It's just to prove the concept works. Now the PVC cases that you can see here. This this is how you enter the weight of the fish. It's not nice. It's not a good user interface. So I'll show you what I do plan on using as the user interface. One of the local companies to me make these heated propagators and they come with this control unit. It's just a nice unit with a small backlit LCD screen and a simple user interface. So what I plan to do is to utilise the same case, better quality screen, but they're generally the same thing with my components inside. And what this will do is it will request you to import the type of fish that you've got, the breed, the size of the fish that you've got, the age of the fish that you've got, the type of feed that you food that you're feeding them, and the type of feeder that you're using. And then it will every day it will measure the water temperature or the amount of food and it will feed them at the right time for the best productivity and at the right amount for the best productivity. So how much can this increase productivity? There's quite a lot of scientific studies actually and they have shown that feeding multiple times a day at the right amount can increase productivity by 40%. So a 40% increase of 156 billion kilos is quite a substantial amount of food.